If you want to grow in your relationship with God and you are looking for a coach or a mentor or a spiritual director, but you're not sure which one to choose, then in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between spiritual direction and life coaching. And then how do you discern which one might be right for you in this season? If you're new here, my name is Meryl. I'm a spiritual director. A spiritual director is someone who is going to help you discern God's work in your life help you know notice you notice any blind spots they're going to encourage you in your faith they're going to help you understand what God is doing and how to respond to God you get to look at your relationship with God through the lens of how God is forming you how you are called to be with him and to live out your unique calling in Christ so the emphasis on spiritual direction is on your relationship with him your dynamics how do you interact with God what is your prayer life like Spiritual direction does encompass all of your life where you can share anything that's happening with your spiritual director, whether that's stuff with mental health related, stuff with your goals, um, things that you're working on in your life. But the focus is going to be on how are you participating with the work of the Holy Spirit? Another way of putting it is how do you learn to walk in the spirit as scripture tells us to? And it's the process of sanctification. So you want to grow in your relationship with God. You want to be his disciple. And that is specific. That's different from counseling, which is going to help you more solve problems. And then coaching, which is different from spiritual direction, even though they are similar. They're Christian and biblical based, but they're going to have two different goals. Life coaching is forward thinking. It's going to help you look at what are your goals in life? Where are you stuck? What are the um, patterns that are keeping you stuck? How are you doing things that are not serving you? And they're going to help you define your goals and help you reach them, you know, make actionable steps to achieve the goals that you have. So coaching is very forward thinking. Um, if you're unsatisfied with your life, maybe it's career, maybe your relationships, maybe it's your dating life, maybe it's your, um, yeah, your business or just overall wellness in your life, whether that's fitness, um, a life coach is going to be somebody that is going to have a matter of your life in mind that you decide and you are going to, with that life coach, um, develop a plan to achieve your goals, to make your life more satisfying. And that could be short-term life coaching, could be a year long, doesn't matter. But it's somebody who is going to listen to you and they're not going to give advice either. They're going to help you to achieve your goals and they're going to push you and you need pushing and they're going to coach you just like a basketball coach would. They'd help you do drills. They tell you, hey, you know, move your hip this way when you're swinging in the golf club, things like that. I don't know if that's what a golf club teacher would, or a golf, I don't know if that's what a golf teacher would say, but you, you know what I'm saying. So a life coach is going to be interested in goals, helping you just figure out how to get there, obstacles, beliefs, and they're going to help you achieve those. Spiritual director is going to be more focused on the slow internal work of God. And they're going to be looking more inward, the interior life, your soul. How are you responding to God? being more quiet and still and listening to his voice so that you can live in Christ. Both are going to be in God's word. They're both going to be framed with biblical principles. However, the goals are different. Spiritual direction is really going to look more at the present. How is God working in your life right now? What is God maybe inviting you into the future? And maybe how is the past, especially your family of origin, your relationship with your parents, key figures in your life, how have they shaped how you experience God, how you experience yourself? What was your church life growing up? All of that is going to impact how you interact with God. One is going to be more structured. Life coaching can be very structured. You know, you have an end goal and here are the steps to achieve that. In spiritual direction, you might form goals like you want to maybe develop some spiritual practices or create a rule of life, or you might have a goal of growing in your intimacy with God. But a lot of those can be less defined and a little bit more slow and take intuition and real discernment. Or a coach might really emphasize being precise and specific. With spiritual direction, we kind of more or we look more at the gray areas to find what God is doing. As God speaks to us slowly. God dwells in unapproachable light. So when we're really working with God, we need to slow down and we cannot, we don't rush. We don't rush the process to get the results in our own power. So how are they similar? I've addressed this a little bit before, but like I said, they're biblically based. They're gonna look at your vocation and calling. How are you uniquely called in your life? What is God doing with you? And that is going to help shape the coaching relationship and the spiritual direction relationship. Relationship. A spiritual director and a life coach are going to want to find the real you. They're going to want to understand your beliefs, your patterns, and your life history and how it's going to impact. 
life coach is going to want to get you to an end goal, a spiritual director is going to want to help you deepen your relationship with God and focus on that relationship. How do you choose which one might be right for you? I might say both might really be helpful, but if you have some specific goals in mind or you really want to feel energized and you want to change some things in your life, you have some unhealthy patterns that you want to break free from that you don't necessarily think you need a counselor or a therapist for, you're not maybe dealing with more mental health and some deep, deep emotional issues, then you might want to go with a life coach, somebody who is going to help you articulate and be precise with your goals and then help you reach them because you want to feel unstuck. Life coaching might be a good fit for you. If you are maybe questioning your faith, you're feeling stuck in your relationship with God, you're experiencing some dryness, you want to grow in intimacy with him and you want to understand yourself deeper, you want to have a prayer life that is rich and meaningful, you want to really live the abundant life and engage with God to live out your calling in him to impact the world for Jesus and to experience him you want to have your identity in Christ solid which is so important now more than ever to focus on your relationship with God because there is so much going on in the world that being centered is huge because there is no center. Life is crazy as we know it and making sure that we are cultivating our relationship with God, learning to hear his voice, to understanding who we are in Christ is essential if we are going to live the Christian life and live it well. So having a spiritual director is going to help you in that area because they are going to look at what is God doing and how are you responding to him and how can you respond in a way that is going to be life-giving for who you are and for what God is doing and you discern the process with the director. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any more questions about what spiritual direction is and what life coaching is. I would be happy to answer any questions you have even about the spiritual life because I might make more content about it in the future. My email is in the description box below and I would love to hear from you. Any question that you have, shoot me an email or if you're interested in spiritual direction, I do give a free 30 minute consultation. I would love to meet with you and discern if spiritual direction might be a good fit or I'd be happy to refer you to somebody else. And last but not least, if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button so that you can get notifications when I make more content about growing your relationship with God. I will see you in the next video.